So, those who are thinking of first of all analyzing Krishna, whether he is God, they are not first class people. Those who have got spontaneous love for Krishna, they are first class. How you will analyze Krishna? He is unlimited. It is impossible. Uh, so this business we should not try to analyze, to know Krishna. It is impossible. We have got limited perception, limited uh, potency of our senses. How we can study Krishna? This is not possible at all. Uh, whatever Krishna reveals Himself, that must suffice. Don't try. Uh, that is not. Neti, neti, just like the Mahavadis, they are trying to find out God. Where is God? Who is God? Neti, not this. They are simply not this. Their philosophy is based on not this. And what it is, they do not. The so called scientists also, they are trying to find out the ultimate cause, but their process is not this. So much. Uh, as as much they are advancing, they are finding not this. And what it is, they will never find. They will never find. Uh, <coughs> they can say not this, but what it is, that is not possible. Uh, that is not possible. Panthastu koti satavasa sampragamya Bayu rathapi manasu munipunga vana. So pastija prabada simna avichinta tati. Go vindamadipun sam tamam. You are to speak of Krishna, even this material object. They are trying to go to the moon planet. Actually, they do not know what it is. Actually. Then why they are coming back? If they knew it perfectly what it is, uh, then they would have recited that by this time, uh, the time for the last twenty years. Uh, simply uh, they are seeing not this. There is no living entities. There is no possibility of her living there. And so many knows. And what is yes? No, they do not know. Uh, and th- this is only one planet or one star. Uh, the moon planet is taken as star. Uh, the scientists, they say they are, the stars are all suns. But according to mm-hmm. our information, the Bhagavad Gita, Nakshatranam, Jatha, Sashi. Sashi means the moon is just like so many stars. So what is the position of the moon? Moon is uh, bright being reflects on of the sun. Uh, so according to our calculation, the sun is one. But the modern scientist says that there are so many suns, the stars. Uh, we don't agree. This is only one universe. Uh, there are many suns. Innumerable, but each and every sun, every universe, there is one sun, not many. So, this universe, what you are experiencing, experiencing by seeing imperfectly, we do not know, we cannot count how many stars are there, how many planets are there. It is impossible. So, the material things which is before us, uh, still we are unable to count, to understand 
and what to speak of the supreme lord who created this universe that is not possible uh, therefore in the brahma sangita it is said panthast koti satavatsa sambhavam ah on the koti satavats the space is unlimited now you take your plan or sputne uh, Mm-hmm. Or capsule, <coughs> so many things they have invented. So you go on. Now uh, go on for how many hours or days or years? No, panthast koti shatavasra uh, for millions of years. Koti shatav. Go on with your speed. Panthast uh, koti shatavasra sampragamya. And how I shall go now on the plane which is uh, running on this velocity of the air, not this velocity, not this speed, five hundred miles or one thousand miles per hour. No. Uh, what is the speed of air? One hundred ninety-six thousand miles per second. Sir, ninety-six miles per second. that these are mentioned in the vedic literature that if you go by this speed speed air uh, some 96000 miles per second so just imagine what is the speed of air so panthast koti satavasya sampragamma vayo rathapi on the plane which is running on the speed of air that speed And for millions of years. Uh, then again, it is suggested not only on the speed of air, but also on the speed of mind. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. 